The, the work with, that I did this past summer uh, with UNESCO in Iraq, or sponsored by UNESCO, is actually working independently. Um, it's grown out of a long-term project that I've been involved in uh, since 1992, uh, studying traditional irrigation systems, specifically the, the Kanats or the Kares. Uh, they're known by Khatara and Gael and Mian and a lot of other names in different countries where they're found. They're subterranean irrigation systems, basically like uh, underground canals or underground aqueducts uh, where water is collected in a, in a a tunnel and well, a system of tunnels and wells um, somewhere in, the, in, in, in an aquifer. And then the water seeps into the tunnel and into the wells and is conveyed sometimes several kilometers away, tens of kilometers away, underground via a gently sloping tunnel under the ground. UNESCO um, approached me uh, last May um, wanting to know more about the distribution and use and function of the Karez in northern Iraq. Uh, they knew that I had conducted several of these surveys, countrywide surveys of the location, distribution, function use, contemporary practice of Karez irrigation in a lot of other countries in North Africa and Middle East and Central Asia. And they had designs to refurbish some of the Karez in northern Iraq as a way, as one method of helping to mitigate the drought that's ongoing and has been since 2005 there. Uh, and they know that a lot of the villages there, or believed that a lot of the villages there had relied on Karez, but they didn't have any on-ground information. They had some reports from uh, Minister of Water, Ministry of Water and Irrigation in Iraq, and uh, lists of some Karez, but the information was dated, um, and they wanted up-to-date information, and preferably a, you know, a more complete and comprehensive survey, so they could decide uh, from among all the Karez that were identified in a, in a scientifically assembled comprehensive survey, which Karez are in most need of refurbishment, and if they put money into refurbishing it, which ones would do the most good. I like the atmosphere of the university. I love the beauty of the campus. I like the, the friendliness of the, of the faculty, administrator, staff. It just has a very nice um, collegial atmosphere.